Now, the stage is set for the ruling All Progressives Congress to hold its national convention. Accreditation of the delegate is ongoing at the International Conference Center in Abuja and not at the venue of the convention. In the course of today's exercise, the APC is expected to elect a new National Working Committee. Six aspirants contesting the position of the National Chairman of the All Progressives Congress have agreed to step down for President Muhammad Buhari's choice, Abdullahi Adamu. Meanwhile, at the venue of the APC National Convention, which is at the Eagle Square in Abuja, delegates, contenders and party supporters struggling to find their way into the arena pushed down the barricade manned by the police as the crowd outnumbered them. APC has over 7,000 delegates who would come into that arena that has a sitting capacity of about 4,000. 1,815 police officers were deployed and on ground to ensure and maintain security at the venue. Ambulances have been parked at strategic locations across the Eagle Square as crowd control may be a tough call for the security operatives. Now, all around the venue and the federal secretariat, uh, party supporters are carrying uh, placards and banners with faces and names of their supporters conspicuously displayed. Well, TVC News correspondent Celestina Iria joins me now from the venue of the convention. Uh, Celestina, I'm sure you had a lot of work to do at this point, but tell us now, give us an update on the situation at the venue of the convention this afternoon. Okay, right now, delegates are trickling into the Eagle Square after they have been accredited at the International Conference Center here in Abuja. The, the accreditation was not done here. A uh, moment ago, we saw the governor of Nasara State walking, and also the, it is uh, a security tight situation here. Outside the Eagle Square, we have a mammoth crowd which the security agencies are trying to control. They even had to fire tear gas to be able to control the crowd. But here, any moment from now, the event will kick start as delegates are coming in. All right, so looking at um, the situation there, there has been a contending issue now. It's uh, about the uh, statement posted on the Twitter handle of the uh, convention committee on Thursday. Now, it said the decision to bar political employees from voting is in view of the controversy surrounding Section 84, Subsection 12 of the Electoral Act. Now, the caretaker committee are saying uh, that um, uh, political employees elected as delegates won't be allowed to vote during the convention. How is this news um, going around in that, in that uh, area and how are members of the party taking this? Well, it was a decision of the All Progressives Congress not to allow political appointee vote or be voted for in this convention. Reason being that the judgment delivered by the Umaya State High Court. But uh, we know that that judgment is now being appealed by the National Assembly. Although there were no parties to the suits that led to the judgment, they can appeal as an interested party. What some people say of the fact that that, that section of the Electoral Act is not in contention with the Constitution, uh, which allows for freedom of um, expression to vote and be voted for. Mm -hmm. But the Section 84, subsection 12, states that political appointee, but that of the Constitution talks about public officers. Mm -hmm. So political appointee, are they public officers? We have two types of public officers. We, can, we, we, we have that of the career public officers and the appointee. But the court heard that um, not allowing them to vote will amount to disenfranchising them. But the APT not to be caught off guard if the judgment is overturned at the appellate court, decide not to allow political appointee to vote. But we also hear that uh, they've given some political appointee um, a free way to vote, like a waiver. But uh, when the convention kicks start in full and voting commence, we will know what stand they will take. Oh, tell us about the political appointees that were given waivers to vote, uh, who have been given waivers here. Yeah. Well, yes, we don't know which of the political appointees were given waiver to vote, but we know for a fact that a consensus has been made to who will be the national chairman of the All Progressives Congress. Uh, the other contestants or the aspirants actually consented to giving one person the mandate. And we know, yes, that is within their rights. They have a right to do that. Looking at also section 84, but now subsection 9 of the Electoral Act. But they have to bring a consent letter stating that they gave 
consensus willingly and not out of uh, compulsion. All right, Celestina, what about other uh, positions in the party? Now we hear about, like you have said, every uh, uh, party chairman and aspirant have um, uh, stepped down for one person. What about other positions? Yes, we're expecting 66 official members of the APC and also 21 national working committee members yes the, the, the position that was concerted to was that of the chairman while other positions are open you can see beside me uh, are the polling units from different states where they are going to vote and have their preferred candidate so it is just the position of the chairman that had a consensus candidate all right, uh, Celestina area, we will get more information from you as um, uh, you know in the course of our bulletins. Thank you very much for talking to us.